I try on this channel to find deeper ways to connect to media and to use it as a way to teach people about media literacy and occasionally the Soviet Union. But some things simply defy analysis. There is no deeper meaning to surf ninjas. It is 100% pure lunacy and an excuse to look at Ernie Reyes Jr.'s abs. The first thing you need to know about the 90s is that it had a big kung fu phase, and this is not my fault. Martial arts movies were big, so if I make more of these, just expect to see a running theme. Surf ninjas. What if I was actually a princess, but for boys? It's about two brothers, Johnny and Adam, and they surf. Just look at how cool they are surfing. Man, California looks neat. So fun fact, Ernie Reyes Jr. was the little boy in Red Sonja and also Kino in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But generally, this is the only movie my girl brain remembers for reasons. Rob Schneider is in this as their teenage friend Iggy and also it inexplicably stars comedy giant Leslie Nielsen as the bad guy, Colonel Chi. The boys are being hunted by aqua ninjas with harpoons and also this other guy with an eye patch. The boy's adopted father, Mac, gets ambushed at his burger hut by aforementioned aqua ninjas uh, and the other guy steps in to protect the boys. Fun fact, this is Ernie Ray Sr., Ernie's dad in real life. Turns out that this man is Zatch, a very real name, and he tells the boys that they are actually princes from an island nation, Patusan, a very real place that was attacked years ago by Colonel Chi, and they were rescued by Mac when they were super young. Now Colonel Chi wants to kill the boys uh, to keep them from like ascending the throne. It's all very Shakespearean. Tone Loke is in this as a detective who follows the boys out of I don't know, curiosity? He does the theme song. Zatch tells the boys that they have magic powers and then they suddenly do. Like Johnny finds out that he has amazing fighting abilities and little Adam discovers he can foresee the future via his Sega Game Gear. I love that. I love everything about that. The boys escape Colonel Cheese Ninjas to Little Patisan, where Johnny meets a pretty girl that he's supposed to marry. Um, and it's awkward because it's the 90s and you're not supposed to do that anymore. There's a fight and Johnny, Adam, Iggy, and Zatch, oh, and the girl whose name escapes me at the moment. Girl, <laughs> all escaped little Patisan. Detective Tone Loke joins them also um, to be in the movie. They get to Patisan and it's pretty and tropical, but the people are really sad because Colonel Chi is like a shitty warlord. Oh yes, okay, we get foreshadowing early in the movie that Colonel Chi is like half robot, which is amazing, uh, but he can't get any of his robotic parts wet, which is why he invaded an island. They discover a treasure trove of royal loot and Johnny gets a sword. Um, so that's bringing a knife to a gunfight, but it doesn't matter because he looks amazing. <laughs> If you're demanding logic from a movie called Surf Ninjas, like that's really your problem. They free some prisoners from a convoy and then start like a flash mob rebellion. Like these people were ready. Like they didn't even need a speech. They were just had the guillotine set up and waiting. Oh, okay, this part's amazing. They have to sneak to the other side of the island like without being seen, but there's no roads or anything to get there. So Adam devises a plan to carve surfboards out of the local trees so they can all surf there. Surfing and sneaking surf ninjas. In the name, there's a huge fight at the end. Johnny faces off against Colonel Chi, this friggin despot who killed his parents and Colonel Chi's robot hand starts to malfunction because he gets it wet. Um, convenient because he had a shotgun and Johnny kicks him in the chest and he gets squished by an elephant. And that's it, our heroes win. Johnny ascends the throne as the eldest son and his first act as king is actually to dissolve the monarchy and give the government over to its people and everybody celebrates, which is a super cool ending and why I stand Johnny to this day. The end, credits. Thank you so much for watching and giving me an excuse to talk about Surf Ninjas. I regret nothing. If you like this, please let me know by hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Um, this might be a one-off. I don't know. I have so many more movies like this. Uh, until next time, team. Bye.